So we're here at the Springfield Ransom Airport. No international. Small. There's like United, Allegiant, and there is American Airlines and Delta here. That's it. I'm gonna try to film today. Flying on a Embraer 145 on American economy. It's a really tiny plane. There's two seats and then one seat, and that's it. I might not be able to stand up even fully, but that's the way it is. Flying from Springfield to Chicago. And it's like 6 a.m., so I'm hardly awake. It's like a gift shop. And then like airplane models, tiny security, like four gates. So I'll show you a little bit of plane. It's gonna be a short flight. Falling out. So probably like seven minutes to get through security. And you got like a coffee place here and that's it. And then there's a We're back here in 16 Bravo, 16 Alpha. Here's me trying to stand up, but it's okay. This is Allegro. It's actually not that bad on this Embraer 145. on the uh, right side the left side where there's a uh, only one seater so it's a two one and then there's a lavatory in the back of the cabin but there's uh, really not that bad as far as these go and I think that we're full That's it. That's all we have for reclines. <clears throat> and it's got some wings for your head to rest on when you're sleepy like me. Want to check out how the cabin? That's it. Yeah. 
Here's a wing view. We're right above the wing. Probably feel a bit of bumps, but hopefully not. Maybe you never know. Again, this is the Embraer 145. It's the second smallest plane in the American Airlines fleet. I think hey, I was... Captain, welcome aboard flight uh, 3526 to Chicago. We fly in there at 33,000 feet, and the plans to take an hour and 12 minutes in the air. Got a great flight attendant for you in the batch of days. However, she's there primarily for your safety, and then also secondarily for your comfort and convenience. She does act as my direct representative in the cabin. I just ask that while you're aboard the aircraft today, that you comply with any directions or instructions that she may give. It's like we're pretty much done up here, getting our final paperwork printed out now, and uh, we'll be underway shortly. Uh, before we take off, though, we have to uh, uh, do a quick uh, DIC. Now, there's a little bit of frost on the aircraft this morning, so we have to have that removed before we can safely take off. Should it take more than uh, probably 15 to 20 minutes, uh, maybe quicker than that, I'm hoping. Um, uh, right after we push back, so I don't anticipate it's being uh, delayed any or or much when we do arrive in Chicago. For now, sit back, relax, enjoy the flight. Thanks for flying with us today. It's like 22 degrees out, so they're just gonna de-ice the wings. Frosty. That's it. There's no snow. It's clear weather. It's just really cold. Hour and 12 minute flight. There's a uh, individual air nozzles above every seat, which is good, and you have your call buttons and uh, reading lights. But, uh, no one's in the back with us. Everybody wanted to be up front today, so we have the whole back for ourselves, which is awesome. They don't have to hear me talk. Keep in mind, the closest exit may be behind you. Apparently they have streaming Wi-Fi on this plane. All belongings and proceed to the closest usable exit. Spraying the de-icing compound. The windows are have de-icing fluid on it, so maybe it'll clear up when we get up in altitude. Service, in flight service. Got some pretzels, biscuit, cookie, some orange juice.
light. And the only thing I can say is that the uh, seats are a bit narrow. They don't recline a lot, but there's a lot of leg room. A lot. A lot more than their normal, like 737s and stuff. And the aft bathroom is pretty huge. And I didn't have to duck my head or anything. Big. So I was dreading flying this smaller plane, but the Embraer 145 is not that bad. It's got some perks for it, especially the legroom, which is impressive. I know I said it again and again, but I'm 6'1 and it's great. Seats need some padding though. Good afternoon. Welcome to Chicago O'Hare Airport. 